Prodigy, Thunder. There, leaving it there. And we're gonna go past the Lunch Creation Station, the Shrine of Danny DeVito, obviously. Darkness, how you doing? The uh, Hi-Fi Fan with the YouTube Queen on it. And here we are with the Aris Blue Me in HD. Bluetooth receiver, and I saw that they decided to, to bold blue, and then me, and then HD. They they blew me. So when I saw that, I kind of chuckled, and then I agreed to like look at it. They wanted to send it to me for free. Like, all right, Bluetooth is a thing. We're not getting rid of it. I have a bunch of little Bluetooth receivers, the um, Ear Studio ES100, things like that, the Fio BTR3. Bluetooth is here to stay, and hopefully it just keeps getting better and better and better, so that we can all just stop going, well, well it's Bluetooth quality. Bluetooth quality doesn't mean bad anymore. And Bluetooth distance, th this, th I could grab this and it's still... That's an amazing amount of travel, because Bluetooth basically doesn't bounce around, it goes straight through. So it's going through my entire headphone wall, through my bedroom, then out my apartment, then onto a metal uh, washing machine. And I've been sitting here for an hour trying to assess quality, like actual quality, because let me show you the unit. Powered by USB, so that's fine. That's basically all of them. I also wrote out, I reviewed this many, many years ago, and I've had it for many, many years. This is the Audio Engine B1, which is Audio Engine's Bluetooth receiver. And these have a striking amount of similarities to them. The only difference is this one's brand new. Uh, Bluetooth, Aptex, Qualcomm, AAC, I uh, blink Bluetooth 5. And this is old as dirt, but was $200 and has a good DAC in it. So that's the difference. Does this have what I need? Well, I'm avoiding the DAC at first. Uh, USB power, then a fiber optic output. Now, the player in the laundry room there has digital files on it. It's being converted to another digital format, which is Bluetooth Send. It's being sent to this digital receiver, and then it's converted back into fiber optic, which um, I don't actually know the bit rate it's running. I think it could probably run source, so 1644, because that's what's coming on the player. And now I'm pushing it into the Gashelli Labs Enog 2 Pro, and I'm outputting that via these lovely keenable wires, which I'll link to these red RCAs in the description, into the JDS Labs EL amp. And I'm powering those. And I'm putting those into my ESS 422s with the uh, shore pads and the little nuggets on top. And I can't tell it's not plugged right into my computer. From all that. From digital to a different digital to digital to a different thing to a DAC to into here it's just there was a couple songs came on that were like the way you could usually used to be able to hear if you actually I kind of recommend everyone go out and find an old Bluetooth 3 audio receiver so that you could actually hear definitely what Bluetooth used to do what the damage digital um, transmission can incur and it's basically anything that's high frequency sounds like it's well, just like when you chew on tinfoil, the audio equivalent of that. So the fact that I could sit here receiving a Bluetooth signal, and I'm not using the DAC in this. We'll talk about that in a second when I hook it up to the 789. But just getting that Bluetooth signal, sending it fiber optic out to a quality DAC, to a quality amp, listening through some quality headphones, I'm, I have nothing to say about the sound. Quiet stuff came on. And it was like, do I hear it? Do I hear that little bit of like the pop, that the digital pop and digital echo and digital crunchiness? And nope, not at all. Now, I don't know if that's partially because of the fiber optic output and how good the Enog is, but I'm not concerned. So now I also hooked up the audio engine because it's been in my living room for a long time on my speaker setup, but it's been a very long time since I've had it hooked up to something that I could actually say, oh, headphones. Let me assess the quality of this. So that's a Fio player. That's the little M6. And this is what, are you the M9? You're the M9, yes. I'll learn the names of all these things eventually. 
And now this is obviously, I'm not doing a distance deal with this, but we're using the DAC output on this into the 789 and we're going into my uh, T60 RPs, my completely stock lovely and beautiful T60 RPs. By the way, Modhouse might be making Argons out of these, so check his website. Link in the description to modhouse.com. If he decides to officially support turning these into Argons, they'd be the prettiest Argons. Now, even though this thing is an old unit, this one, um, holy shit. The price difference, I went to pause it. I keep, I'm sorry, old, old habits die hard. The price difference in these, this is actually still, even though this is years and years on, and I don't know if they've updated the internals, because four or five years ago, I wouldn't have trusted Bluetooth. This came out and was like the pinnacle of the best I'd ever heard Bluetooth. And I sit here going from there to here through a 789, through T60 RPs, and I'm still pretty fucking impressed by it. Like, I'm not, like, upset, and I don't hear the crunchiness, although I haven't played with every song on this. I just sort of hooked it up. And I think that has to do with Audio Engine's good DAC. Because, like, I'm using this for the DAC from this. I'm using the internal of this. Now, if I swapped it around, if I unplug these RCAs, and I pop them into here, which I think this is backwards, yeah. Get over there. By the way, Amazon Basics RCAs for the win. So now, the one thing I did notice, this pushes more volume through the RCAs than this does. This is quiet. Whereas that was loud enough, playing the song. Now I'm using two FIO units. They both come up and say Qualcomm AppDex when they connect. They're both volume maxed on the units. Yet this receiver, I could run what would be equivalent like 10 o'clock. And on this, I could max out. I'm maxing it out. Now these are hard to drive headphone, but I was just pushing them. So I think, and I'm, gonna, I'm not gonna say fully that this is the reason because I had this for a little while, have like a low output and then it, I reset everything and it came up much higher. But I'm gonna, just say it's probably a lower output volume. So if you have a stereo, you might want to be prepared to turn it way the hell up to get the analog outputs to work. And I think it's the same on the optical output, which should be immune to that sort of bullshit because it's not using the voltage uh, disk generating. It's only a USB, right? So I've got a, a one and a half or one amp uh, USB thing powering it, doesn't come with one, you plug it into whatever. And it has to generate 2.1, it says in the book, it says in the Blue Me book that it outputs 2.1 volts, which is correct. So I don't know if it's just the way it's connecting or if something went funky, but I find that this is, sounds a little bit lower on both outputs. I am, um, I switched the fiber optic into this and all of a sudden, well actually let's just do that. Why don't we just do things? He runs the reviews. We don't, we don't talk about it. Yeah, that's loud and annoying at 10 o'clock. Now granted, these are not the same songs. That'll be much, much harder to try to accomplish to have them all play the same songs. Wait, not that. Plug this, plug this. But that's a similarly energetic song, and it just needs a little bit more roll, like just just from ten to twelve. Forget about the volume discrepancy for a second. Let's talk about connectivity and simplicity. You plug this in to power. She flashes blue. She'll show up in your phone or your player device as Blue Me HD, <laughs> and then you connect to it. And it'll remember eight devices, and it'll you, you, it only connects to one at a time. You can't have your phone and your girlfriend's phone, and your mom's fucking phone, and your brother's laptop all connected to it. That won't work. But if all those devices at one point were connected to it, it would remember the last devices connected up to eight, and then just reconnect to those automatically without having to go through the pairing process. 
uh, one button, which actually... Okay, let me get some audio. You press the power button, it does pause the music. So I just pause the player that's on my laundry machine out there, and I could unpause it. I don't know if I could change tracks. Huh? That'd be cool if I could change tracks. Wait. Now nah, just registered as a pause. Too bad. Because you can do funky things with buttons, like that's a, you hold it down and it puts it in pairing mode. You hold it down and it shuts it off. You turn it on. That's it. This is that's this is the least complicated unit I've ever received. It's a it's a little aluminum box. It's basic. Output, 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 power. The end. It comes in two different colors, I think. I picked the white one because I have everything else is so dark and dingy and gray and black. Same with this, power and pair. Actually, if we look on Amazon right now, here's the Blue Me HD from Aris. Long range, 5.0, music receiver, hi-fi audio adapter, DAC, aptX screaming, blah, 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 blah. Easy setup, streaming up to 100 feet. 100 feet, it claims. You know what? I believe it. Because it's doing, even if it's doing 40 feet in a straight line, that straight line has got so much shit in the middle of it. Um, here is the audio engine, this, which is still, let's see, what is this, one th 120, and this is 190. It's still $70 more, and I don't think it's worth it now that stuff like this exists. That said, I was just browsing through Amazon looking for this. By the way, I love that there's bullet points so long that I can't see the rest of the page. And I find this, which looks remarkably like this Blue Dento has the exact same chassis as the Audio Engine B1. It costs 80 bucks, has the same four and a half star reviews. Only the difference is on the back, instead of having just left and right out and fiber optic, it's got USB power, left and right out, and then a coaxial RCA, I believe out, it's gonna all be out. So that's even cheaper. So I'm gonna link the Blue Me HD. I've reviewed it, I've tested it. It's as clean as source, as far as I'm concerned. The DAC in it, the actual RCA outputs, is, I'm not gonna say top tier, that's dumb. And it's hard to judge because I can't compare it against other, oh, I can compare it against other decks with this. If you're serious, if you're serious, serious, use a fiber optic out, get whatever DAC you want. I could output balance now. I could have a balance signal coming out of this Bluetooth receiver because I've got the um, Enoch 2 here. But for most people, I'd say 95% of people using the actual RCA outs is clean enough. It's damn clean. I've got TH789. The only problem you have with that is I think it's a little bit quiet, so you may have to turn your volume up a little bit more. The audio engine isn't that quiet, but did have a period where it was getting funky and disconnected randomly. Um, I don't know about this. It doesn't even have a brand name. Blue Dento. The Blue Dento. So this is Blue Me. This is Blue Dento. It sounds Italian. But I'll link it because stereo, coaxial audio output, tossing 24-bit optical output, it's nice to have like offer when people come to my house. I have uh, the guy come to my house. And he wanted to hear the speakers in the living room, um, my whatever I had at the time, or I think I might have hooked up the ohms. And he's like, "Can you can you do you have this music? Do you have this song?" And I'm like, "I don't." And he's like, "I have it in flack on my phone." And there was this was the solution, and actually, I think I hooked this up right afterwards and started running through the tests. But it's nice to just include this in your. At Rocky Mountain, by the way, Rocky Mountain Audio Fest, go fund me in the description. Uh, help me bring um, good, cheap shit to uh, the masses, to the starving masses that'll be attending the million dollar Rocky Mountain, billion dollar Rocky Mountain Audio Fest. I wonder what the actual combined total of all the equipment's retail price is when you do that. Gotta be up there. It's gotta be well into like the half a million, half a billion dollar mark. What was I saying? I'm gonna have like one of these there, so if someone shows up and have something they wanna play on their phone, I can integrate the fiber optic switch in this to pump it through whatever stereo we're gonna be running there. So uh, yeah, I'll bring the, the um, Blue Me HD.
I'll just make sure I shut it the hell off when I'm not there. I don't need don't need that, especially with a hundred foot range. You'll have some guy in three floors down controlling your your stereo at Rocky Mountain. That'd be bad. I approve. I approve. It's. I wish it was a hundred bucks, but I kind of feel better about the DAC quality in it. The actual because if you buy a hundred dollar DAC, it's basically just doing its job for 100 bucks. This is a Bluetooth receiver with a DAC. I don't want them to cheap out too bad. There is another one that I've seen floating around. I don't have it on the page here. Is it there? Is it there? Like Logitech sells a $23 one. I've got an MPAL receiver that's got battery power in it that I use for my live streams. That's a send and receive that uses fiber optic, which I'm gonna give those a full review at some point. Point is Bluetooth, good. Zio's happy. Music make the sound go that enough what else we got playing i think i'm done here this is a short one today it just it's just showing off this it's showing off you can get a bluetooth receiver with a fiber optic output and hook it to a billion dollar goddamn stereo as long as you just have a fiber optic input boom whatever million dollar dac million dollar amp million dollar headphones i'm pretty sure you're going to be fine with the quality like absolutely indistinguishable from source now, if you're one of those people who lives in the DSD lands and you have like five albums, literally five to your name, and those are the only five albums, maybe then you could tell the difference between if it's Bluetooth or not. But it's 2019, I'm pretty sure that shit's done. Anyway, wallpaper in the description. Go fund me for a Rocky Mountain there. Don't forget to check out the Hi-Fi Guides forums, which is Hi-Fi Guides is the purchasing guide website that I've set up to try to replace um, my recommendations, guides, and our Zios. That's still in beta, but the forums is good to go if you want to go chat. Every single device should have its own dedicated post, and everyone could just comment on it down there and post their own reviews. Um, my Patreon. I don't want to sell this to my patrons. I might, I might contact them and say, look, I'm going to Rocky Mountain, and I want to have one of these to use, in which case they might send me another one. But if they don't, I'll just not put this in the yard sales, which are from the 1st to the 10th. And usually things I don't need after I've bought them, those Grados, uh, there's a pair of Somics. Oh, I don't know about those Teltronics. They're so good. A couple things here, the uh, the D5, unless it blows my mind because I haven't put it on the desk yet, that'll be in a yard sale from the 1st to the 10th. That's for $5 and higher patrons. Um, $10 and higher patrons get into a private 200-man chat, which that number is probably going to go down once I wipe the chat. But... Yeah, big actual community of, of people obsessed with audio. If you want the inside scoop about everything I'm doing, I'll tell them how this went, like right now. Put my phone video it, say here. And here's a wallpaper, anyone who wants it. So if you want to avoid the wait, that's the chat to be in. And you also get to ask me any questions you want. Yard sale, see these reviews early, blah, 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 blah. Okay, so check out the um, Hi-Fi Guides forums. They really need... They need love. They've got lots of people running around there and we're trying to organize things, but we could use some help. So I'll see you there. Um, I'm gonna listen to some more music, although I can't control the next track with this, which is sort of sad. But uh, yeah, 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 yeah.